Welcome to the Science Lab. Do you know why nylon is used for making ropes, which are used in mountain climbing and in making parachutes? This is because the nylon ropes are very strong and can bear the weights of the climbers and the parachutes. Various fibers exhibit different properties. Therefore, a specific fiber is preferred over others to manufacture a particular item. Through this experiment, we are going to compare one such property of fibers, their tensile strength. The materials that you require to perform this experiment are an iron stand, different weights, pans and threads of cotton, silk, nylon and wool of equal thickness and length. Let's get started. Take an iron stand with a long rod and tie one end of all the fibers to them. Tie the free ends of all fibers with different pans as shown in the figure. Make sure that the thread you use to tie at the three corners of the pans so that you can tie it to the different fibers should not be of the same material as of the fibers being examined. Now, place a single block of weight on each pan and observe the thread stretch. Keep adding weights on the pans till their respective fibers break. You will find that the total weight required to break the threads is maximum in nylon, followed by silk, wool and cotton. Tensile strength of a material is the maximum amount of pulling force that a material can bear without breaking or getting permanently deformed. In the fibers being examined here, nylon has the highest tensile strength. Therefore, it can hold the maximum weight before getting torn. This is followed by silk, wool and cotton. You have now successfully completed this experiment.